guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we're here at San Francisco checking out the all new Scotsman carbon fiber scooter. The Scotsman is the first fully carbon fiber scooter. While others just use bits and pieces out of carbon fiber, this one here is a little bit unique, mainly because of the fact that it's 3D printed, making it much more stronger than the traditional carbon fiber that's generally laid out in sheets. Now, carbon fiber itself is both lightweight, but it's also a premium material that's used in the Superstrata, aerospace, rockets, and more. Now, in this episode here, we'll see exactly what it's all about, as well as do a backstage tour of exactly how it's made. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this place. So you can see that they have a lot of different things going on. So you have different facilities here. This is where they like sand it, they fine tune it. And then over here you have the 3D printers. Now they have multiple machines and you can actually see some of the products that they're working on. So they have a live feedback of what exactly is happening. So this will show exactly what they're printing. This looks like it's a wheel for the Superstrata. Uh, and then it kind of shows a camera basis as well. Now, as we move about, you'll see that they have some carbon fiber printed products. So this here is like the rough version of the actual carbon fiber. So this is before they polish it. So what it does, it layers it layer by layer. And then from there, they'll polish it using these machines, of course, and that'll give you your final product. So as you kind of move about, you'll see that they have other parts. This is different pieces for the bikes. So this here is a robotic arm. You can see how they actually print it. Let's go and take a closer look. So this here is one of the 3D printers. You can see that it's got this gigantic robotic arm and this here is the main mechanism. So the way it works is quite interesting. So it uses a laser which heats up the carbon fiber filament and it'll go heat it at the precise temperature so you can lay it out like this and then dry instantaneously. Now, it being carbon fiber, it's a very strong structure. So the fact that they were able to go and print using it is really cool. Now, the arm is one of the biggest arms I've seen in terms of robotics go. And the fact that they have over 70 of these is insane. So it kind of gives you an idea exactly how they make these things overall. Another exciting feature is the dual removable battery bay. A line to go ahead and take out a battery so you can go ahead and charge your laptop on the go. No other scooter has that. All right, so let's go ahead and take it to the city. All right, so let's go ahead and put it to the limits. Uh, so this here is a very, very bumpy road. This here is actually a bridge uh, in which we actually have a beautiful view around us. So uh, you can see San Francisco in, in the live. Uh, and yeah, let's see how this thing handles, especially with the spring leaf design. So you can see the way it's flexing, it's actually handling it quite well. And it's moving very smoothly, and surprisingly, it's very comfortable. Now, obviously, this being just a prototype product, it is still in production, meaning it's not the final product yet, but they did a great job in terms of designing it. Obviously, with the carbon fiber, they went ahead and created different surfaces. So there will be different parts where it's a little bit more stronger than others and other parts where it creates a little bit more flexibility. This allows the product to actually go ahead and coil itself out as you kind of go over the bumps and kind of gives you an idea how that kind of works. Now, so far, I have to say that based on my personal perspective, it's very easy and very comfortable to use. So let's go ahead and see how it handles the main road. So this here is our Scotsman. Now this one here is a prototype, meaning it's not the final product yet, but it does give you an idea exactly what it's all about. Now this one here is the iconic green color. Uh, you can go ahead and choose a variety of different colors and different sizes based on your own personal preference and make the platform wider. They'll make the handles higher. And then they also have other accessories as well. Now it comes in different speeds. So you can go ahead and pick and choose between what kind of range you're looking for. 
Another feature we haven't seen includes the Scotsman app as well as the built-in screen in the handlebars. This includes turn-by-turn -turn directions, fully built-in GPS, anti-theft system, as well as a built-in dash cam. The mobile app itself allows you to go ahead and directly connect to the scooter so as you approach it, it'll go ahead and unlock it. So it does come with a lot of different features which I'm excited to see in the fully production model. So overall, I have to say, it's definitely a really cool product. I did enjoy a lot riding around, especially in San Francisco, really cool. And yeah, there you guys have it. Now, if you guys had any questions at all, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.